the amount of fields and topics you worked on is truly incredible. I have to ask about P versus NP. This is one of the big open problems in complexity theory. So for people who don't know, it's about the relationship between computation time and problem complexity. Do you think it will ever be solved? And uh, is there any chance the weird counterintuitive thing might be true that P equals NP? Yeah, that's an interesting question. Sometimes people ask about whether it could be independent, which I think is a, mm. an interesting question for logicians. Um, and of course, well, one has to say, if you're entertaining the idea of independence, uh, you know, over which theory? Because every statement is going to be independent over an extremely weak theory. So that's, you know, it doesn't make sense to say it's independent all by itself. You're only independent relative to a theory, right? So the way I think about PNP is that I mean, of course, it's a theoretical question about the asymptotic behavior of these problems. I mean, for a problem to be in P means that there, you know, there is a, a computable decision procedure that that runs in time bounded by some polynomial. But the coefficients on that polynomial could be enormous, and the degree could be incredibly high, and um, and so. For small values of inputs, then it doesn't make sense to talk about this polynomial time feasibility with respect to, say, the the range of problem inputs that we will ever give it in our lifetime or in mm. the span of human civilization or whatever. I mean, because it's an asymptotic property. It's really in the limit as the size of the inputs goes to infinity. That's the only time that polynomial or NP becomes relevant. And so maybe it's important to keep that in mind. And sometimes you find kind of overblown remarks about made about, you know, if P equal NP, then this will be incredibly important for human civilization because it means that we'll have feasible algorithms for solving these incredibly important mm -hmm. problems in NP, you know, that, um, you know, it would cause immense wealth for human societies and so on because we would be able to solve these otherwise intractable problems and that would be the basis of new technology and industry and so forth. I mean, people make these kind of remarks, but of you have to temper those remarks by the realization that P and P equal NP or P not equal NP are not about these practical things at all because of the asymptotic nature of the question itself. Okay, that's on the one hand. But on the second hand, we already have the algorithm, so we could use it already, except it's a terrible algorithm because it, it, it involves all this incredible amount of coding and so and, on. And uh, on the third hand, like you said, we already have approximation algorithms that, uh, yes. that uh, from a pragmatic perspective, solve all the actual real engineering problems of, of, of human civilization. Like the SAT solvers work amazingly well, you know, in lots and lots of cases, even though we can prove that we don't expect, if P is not equal to NP, then there won't be a polynomial time SAT solver, but the, actually the SAT solver approximations, you know, are really quite amazing.